Hello, Internet! I'm Elliot the Purple Doofus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where I read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today we are covering stanza 11 of the book Song of Susanna by Stephen King. I hope you've read up to that point yourself, because I do not want to ruin anything for you. This is the section where the Dark Tower series reaches peak inception. This is the section where our two favorite heroes, Roland and Eddie, meet Stephen King. King. The characters that Stephen King is writing are meeting Stephen King. Interestingly enough, this is not modern day Stephen King. This is Stephen King from 1977. So it's like going back and talking to your younger self. There's even allusions to this about how Stephen King should stop smoking and should stop drinking. But I'll get to that later in the chapter. Roland and Eddie show up at his place, and he sees them, and he recognizes them immediately, and he tries to run. He doesn't get that far, though. And once Eddie and Roland corner Stephen King, he realizes that Roland and Eddie aren't there to hurt him. So they sit and they have Paul over. Stephen King says, my son is away at his grandma's house, I believe. I need to go pick him up in an hour. So you have an hour with me. And so Roland and Eddie start asking him questions. The main thing that they want is they want him to tell them the story of the Dark Tower. They want him to tell them the ending. And he's like, see, here's the thing, guys. I had the entire thing outlined, and then I lost the outline. So... And Eddie questions whether or not the vampires had taken the outline, and whether or not, you know, the dark forces that are against Eddie and Roland had actually already gotten to Stephen King. And Stephen King makes the illusion both in the book as the character and the author writing this book. I know it gets confusing, but just follow it. But he makes the illusion that he has never written an outline before up until this series. And I'm glad that he did that, because at the end of, I believe it was The Gunslinger, he says, people who write outlines are wussies. And I was like, you jerk. But they continue their questioning, trying to get him to tell them more, but all he can really tell them is the story from The Gunslinger. So Roland pulls out one of his bullets, and he starts hypnotizing Stephen King. He has Stephen King tell him everything that he knows about the Dark Tower series so far. And the Dark Tower series is so deep inside Stephen King's mind that he has to be hypnotized to bring it out. And I believe it's at this point that Stephen King says he saw Cuthbert, or Cuthbert, and he looks just like Eddie. Like, they could be twins. And Eddie notices that Roland and Stephen King look similar. Like, he could possibly be his father. Or Roland could possibly be Stephen King's father. Because at this point, I believe he's, like, in his mid-twenties in the 70s. Stephen King continues to talk about the Dark Tower until Roland and Eddie get all the information that they need. Stephen King, the character, is given an opportunity to send mail. Eddie, Roland, and I are just kind of like, what the hell do you mean, Stephen? And Stephen says, I get to send one piece of mail. I have one opportunity to use mail. And so Roland and Eddie say, that's great, Stephen. Would you like to use that now? And he says, yes, I would like to send a message to Jake. And it's pretty much more stuff about Jake has the key and it's red. And Roland is like, well, that is interesting. And Roland says, okay, you are going to rest here for 10 minutes while we run away and you will not remember us. You will not remember us being here, but you will wake up refreshed and happy and just amazingly better. And Eddie says, do you want to like try and fix his drinking and smoking problem? And Roland says, what's the deal with smoking? Smoking is great. Smoking is fantastic. What's your groan? Smoking actually helps you breathe. And he's like, well, I wish the Surgeon General were here to, to hear you say that. And he's like, what about the drinking? And Roland's like, eh, it'll cover itself. You know, just let the guy do what he wants. And it's just like... Wow. <laughs> and then they run away, and Stephen King wakes up ten minutes later, and he writes the note down about, you know, Jake having the key, and he eats the note. Really? That's what you're going with? Okay. To be honest, I was kind of dreading this section. It's all getting really confusing right now. And it's all just getting to this kind of point where people will say, well, I was smart enough to follow it. Really? Were you? Really? I 
I guess I can kind of understand everything, but if I try and put any logic to this at all, well, uh, my brain goes todash. <laughs> Put it that way. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and hit the like button. And go ahead and leave a comment letting me know that you like me. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know that you hate me. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know that you want to see more. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know.